What is going down, AMD community? For most people that are coming in the first time, my name is Mac, and you're at the Big Irish 7 channel, and we're going to be coming the Radeon Software Adrenaline. And it's full force of pixels, and what it's been doing throughout December. On the third of this month, it dropped its Adrenaline Software in comparison to November's tail end of the 2011.3. What we're going to be sizing up is patch notes, and seeing what has changed and what they're claiming to have fixed and some benchmarks throughout 3D marketing or due to trial and tribulations to see what has actually changed. Now, my personal experience as I've been gliding through the holidays and trying it out, it has been kind of interesting. Quite frankly, myself, I kind of like the 2011.3. It's a little bit more stable, but let's take a look at the tests before we make any jump to conclusions to see if it's good, bad, and or ugly. So stay tuned towards the end in order to find out. If you're brand new to the network, hit the subscription button and company with the notification bell. And let's go ahead and scroll into it. As we slide over here, we can see that there is a plethora of OSs nowadays. 11, 10, seven, even. I thought that was very interesting. They're like, we're gonna stop supporting it. We're still gonna put it on our page and support it because we love Windows and we're AMD, apparently. <laughs> now if they can get their advanced scheduling, you know, going on with NVIDIA and them, I think that'd be a great ecosystem, but I'm really interested to see how Intel's GPUs roll out throughout the uh, portion of sharing that nice little wafer of technology. So, but moving on past that, let's go ahead and see what's physically changed. Now, some people have been having some issues with the Halo. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's very sad that unfortunately as the installments roll out that there has been some exclusive patchworks that has been driven out towards that. So check out the AMD site and or any graphics card site to see if there are tailored portions of it. For right now, what they have been boasting is the 17, 19, and 16 on performance for 4K settings within a C of different graphics cards. On top of that, you can see Fortnite, Icarus, on top of the portion of Blender 3D as we get a portion of the RX 6000's graphics. Fun facts of issues that have been hopefully fixed is while running the Stream VR in the home in some AMD graphics cards, the product such as the Radeon 7, the one that I have, may use some experience crashes. Now on top of that, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy gameplay, some users experience some driver timeouts on some of the 5500 XT graphics card series. PUBG also came down to some points of display screens with having the displayed connectivity and extend inside of the Radeon software, and some being unresponsive in the user into the lobbies within specific portions of display in the context menu. On top of that, conundrum of an issue with PUBG. We also have that portion of the vehicle logo and the license plate on Forza 5 on some graphics cards within the 500 series. Now there are some known issues, not as much as they used to be, which is nice to see that they have actually fixed a lot of these issues that they continue to claim on, but the power tuning on top of the situation on some of them may not be as correct the profile and i've experienced that just resetting it or resetting your computer will get around these annoying factoids and yes you sometimes may have to reset your values and that's why saving them sometimes can work but then sometimes loading them used to i mean i've just gotten so keen at where i want to have mine depending on the weather and i just key it in manually it's like tuning a carburetor for me it's just like all right do i want to run it lean or do I want to write it mean? It just depends on where you want to go with it nowadays. But um, moving on past that overclockingable point of my life and how I utilize my technology, we can see that some of the experience portion of the sync also comes down to the black screens that are still out there for as far as the enabling portion of the system configuration. Some uh, experience lost inside of that enhanced sync. So that disables the temporary and then the performance portion for the metrics and the features instead of the reported higher than incorrect value on that memory. Now, there are some notes to for the apparently COD community for Black Ops Cold War, some of the 6800M series and the workaround on top of the developers are trying to resolve that. On top of that, where we can see that the following links will also be down below for some other people. But let's go ahead and see some benchmarks 
it's very rare when you get two scores that look identical, but they're not. When you look at the graphics score very closely, it's nominally different with the newer driver, as 4K drives in some really great stuff in DirectX 12, which is surprise, surprise. A Halo Infinite portion of expansion comes out, and here we are, seeing some very cool favored pixels in the 4K DirectX 12 department. Hmm. We follow the trail, we shall. But on top of that, the CPU didn't really do anything different except for lose one. So, I mean, this is completely a nice transfer over, I think, driver to driver, personally, as the newer driver is on the right for the 21.12.1 versus the 21.11.3, which is on the left. So, let's go ahead and scroll into where the 1080p stands for with the 1080p portion of just DirectX 12. This is where you see the older driver really taking the show. Tiny bit, but not a lot. So you can kind of see where it used to be one to one, and now you're getting a little bit farther away from it. But the CPU score is where I personally like it, where it's almost identical. Um, so score to score, I wouldn't say that this is a loss and or a gain. This can merely be the difference between some things, bloatware. I mean, again, these are nominal scores, and so far I've seen the only difference is some hiccups within my experience over the last about week of playing around with the software on top of doing some other projects that I've been doing in my life. But this is decent. So if you're playing Halo and you're having issues and you've installed this and you're having a great time, then cool. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what the community has to show or vice versa. If you are experiencing issues afterwards and you just want the community to kind of chime in and see like, hey, you're not alone. It maybe is a workaround on this forum of this video. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and scroll into Firestrike. Our testing will dive into the 4K department as we go down from pixel to pixel to 1080p. This is where you start to see the pattern. As DirectX 11 comes into play, look how identical those scores are again. And it's within points, literally. As you can see that the older driver is definitely taking a little bit more of the show for what is the, I guess, one point advantage. But then you look at where physics comes into play and the newer driver definitely pushes a little bit farther as comparatively where we're looking at the combined score and again, it's point for point. So this is where we can kind of get there. There's not percentage breaking and these are definitely tying, but this would definitely between a tailored driver for maybe Halo, hint, hint, because it came out, they dropped like three different settings for all the freaking new 6000 series to like operate on. Um, so if you are experiencing some issues after you've played this, like if you're like an Apex fan and you're just like, what the heck, man, if this sh was not like this before I installed this driver, then well then it's probably the driver. D D D U. I have a video of that at the very end of this that you can check out in order to get around this and just clean out your system and just really get a nice fresh start. It's a great way to do it from the ground up and just learn, honestly. So just in case you get in situations like that, it's crazy what will happen when like you just take apart technology. I've seen people were just like, I had a broken graphics card and I took it out and I put it in a different PCIe slot and then randomly it started working and I was just like, yeah, it's crazy how technology does that when you just disconnect stuff and reconnect it in. I've built stuff for years and have been completely tantalized by magical stuff in the tech world. You know, leave a comment down below if you've had something magical happen in your technological lifetime. I'd love to hear what you guys and gals have to show. But let's go ahead and push on. I don't want to get tuned to a very nostalgic portion of technology when we can focus on scores. As we hit the tail point of where the 1080p will start to bleed into the factor, we can see that the point scores start to differ, as 1080p in the older driver works somewhat more performance enabled. As where you can see the graphics scores definitely do show an increasement, but again, when you look at physics, it's almost identical, if not within around the same ballpark, and then you get down to the combined score, and again, around the same thing. So you can definitely see where the older driver takes a little bit of the lead, but nothing percentage breaking as we slide into the bare bones of just Fire Strike. This continues with the thesis of 1080p being the favored portion of this driver, as you can see for the older driver, versus where the newer driver favors more of the 1080p. 
E not, but 4K yes, with the combined portion of yes, DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 also having 4K favoritism. As we can kind of see it being stable, but if not, just a little bit more pointed towards that. So, older driver, I would definitely say end of the day, if you are having issues, roll back. Utilize some of the videos that are up above. Join the community by hitting the subscription button. It's absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Lisa Sue will just come up with a system with AMD that just allows, you know, like, I know everyone's just like, you know, pre-ordering doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, if you do it smartly, it does. Like, how hard would it be just to be on a waiting list and give one GPU out to everyone at MSRP? I don't feel like that, that that's not a bad thing to go will call. Are you here? Yes, I'd like to have my really cool technology at a not scalped price. I'm just saying, even as a creator, things are hard to come by. And I know a lot of people out there have been the same thing. He's like, well, who are you telling? I've been rocking like a 1050 in my freaking rig for the longest time. Even though I don't own a 1050. I, I don't even know that it exists. It probably does. Let's leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. I guess I got NVIDIA coming up next.